And it starts off with Lacasse having a dream. One night, Lacasse dreamed he was playing in the park. He swung high on a swing. He ran fast in the grass. The sun shined down on him. Lacasse heard a voice call out to him. Oi, oi, Filipino boy. Lacasse looked around to see who it was. Again, the voice said, Oi, oi, Filipino boy. Across the grass was a manong sitting on a bench. The manong was a really old man. He wore a hat. He was feeding crumbs to the birds. Lacasse walked over to the manong and asked, Did you call me? The manong smiled and he said, Yes, you are a Filipino boy, aren't you? Lacasse looked at the manong's old brown face. He asked, How did you know I'm a Filipino boy? The manong said, Because you jump around just like a fish. Do you like fish? Yes, said Lacasse. Did you ever meet a fish that can talk? The manong asked. No, said Lacasse. The manong laughed. He said, I know a fish that can speak Tagalog and English, and he jumps and plays just like you. Lacasse was amazed. I want to see this fish, can I? The manong smiled at Lacasse and said, The fish lives in Manila town. If you want to find him, you have to look very carefully. Lacasse asked the manong, where is Manila town? The sun came down on Lacasse's face. He blinked, and when he looked again, the manong was nowhere to be seen. When Lacasse woke up from his dream, his daddy was cooking hot dogs and rice for breakfast. Lacasse ate his breakfast. He thought about his dream. Daddy, can fish talk? Daddy smiled. No, fish can only swim. Lacasse thought about what the manong had said about the talking fish. Daddy, can you buy me a fish? Daddy looked at Lacasse and says, Yes, Lacasse. We'll get a fish, but first you need a haircut. And off they went to the barber shop. Barber shop. In the barber shop were four manongs. They were all old, as old as the manong in Lacasse's dream. One of them had bright red hair. The barber sat Lacasse in the barber's chair. Oi, oi, Filipino boy, he said. My daddy is going to get me a fish, Lacasse told the barber. The barber said, I like fish with rice and tomatoes and chili peppers. Lacasse shivered. He didn't want to eat the fish. Lacasse asked the barber, can fish talk and walk and play? Yes, there is one fish that can do it, the barber said. His scissors went snip, snip. Go to Manila Town, and you'll find that crazy fish, said the barber. The red-haired Manong said, no, do not listen to him. You do not want to find a fish like that. Just then, the Manong sneezed and his red wig fell off. Be quiet, your mouth, the barber said. Lacasse, if you just keep looking, you will find the fish. Lacasse and his daddy left the barber shop. They walked and they walked. They were looking for a fish. The sun shined down on both of them. Lacasse wondered, could this be Manila Town? They walked some more, and soon they came to the happy fish market. Daddy and Lacasse walked inside. Fish were everywhere, on top of tables and swimming in tanks. All the fish looked very sad, all except one. 
Lacasse heard a voice from the fish tank. Oi, oi, Filipino boy! Lacasse looked at the fish in the tank. Oi, oi, said the fish again. Hmm, Lacasse said, this fish can talk. The manong in my dreams said, I was just like a fish, Lacasse said. I'll ask my daddy to buy you and take you home so we can play. Daddy was busy talking to the happy fish man. Give me that fish in the tank. I will take him home and cook sinigang. Lacasse shivered. He did not want to eat the fish. The happy fish man dipped his net in the tank. Suddenly, the fish jumped out and gave him a big, wet kiss. The happy fish man fell dizzy in love. The fish ran out the door and towards Kearney Street. Come back, dear fish, said the happy fish man. Come back, fish, Lacasse said. Come back, dinner, daddy said. The happy fish man chased after the fish. Lacasse chased after the fish. Daddy chased after the fish. They all chased after the fish who was heading towards a city bus. The bus had a sign that said, Manila Town. The fish jumped on the bus. He gave the driver a big, wet, stinky, dripping wet kiss. The bus driver fell dizzy in love. She fell out of her seat in surprise. The fish jumped in her seat. He drove off with her bus. Follow that bus, Daddy said. Follow my fish, Lacasse said. Lacasse, Daddy, and the happy fish man all ran after the bus, which was, which was zooming down Kearney Street. Zoom! Lacasse looked at the fish in the tank. Oi, oi, said the fish again. Hmm, Lacasse said, this fish can talk. The manong in my dreams said, I was just like a fish. Lacasse said, I'll ask my daddy to buy you and take you home so we can play. Daddy was busy talking to the happy fish man. Give me that fish in the tank. I will take him home and cook sinigang. Lacasse shivered. He did not want to eat the fish. Lacasse looked at the fish in the tank. Oi, oi, said the fish again. Hmm, Lacasse said. This fish can talk. The manong in my dreams said, I was just like a fish, Lacasse said. I'll ask my daddy to buy you and take you home so we can play. Daddy was busy talking to the happy fish man. Give me that fish in the tank. I will take him home and cook sinigang. Lacasse shivered. He did not want to eat the fish. Lacasse looked at the fish in the tank. Oi, oi, said the fish again. Hmm, Lacasse said, this fish can talk. The manong in my dreams said, I was just like a fish, Lacasse said. I'll ask my daddy to buy you and take you home so we can play. Daddy was busy talking to the happy fish man. Give me that fish in the tank. I will take him home and cook sinigang. Lacasse shivered. He did not want to eat the fish. Lacasse looked at the fish in the tank. Oi, oi, said the fish again. Hmm, Lacasse said. This fish can talk. The manong in my dreams said, I was just like a fish, Lacasse said. I'll ask my daddy to buy you and take you home so we can play. Daddy was busy talking to the happy fish man. Give me that fish in the tank. I will take him home and cook sinigang. Lacasse shivered. He did not want to eat the fish. Lacasse looked at the fish in the tank. 
Oi, oi, said the fish again. Hmm, Lakas said, this fish can talk. The manong in my dreams said, I was just like a fish, Lakas said. I'll ask my daddy to buy you and take you home so we can play. Daddy was busy talking to the happy fish man. Give me that fish in the tank. I will take him home and cook sinigang. Lakas shivered. He did not want to eat the fish of our story. Um, again, Lakas and the Manila Town fish. Um, the, uh, I want to have a shout out, give a shout out to the artist. His name is Carl Angel. And he uh, did the wonderful artwork uh, to this book. Uh, the story is based on my real life son, who's about 22, 23 years old. His name is Lakas. When he was a little boy, he used to have these little hairs sticking up in the back of his head. These little, they call them cowlicks. But to me, it looked like a, uh, it looked more like a, a fin of a fish. So that's how I got the idea of the boy and the fish being the same. And that Manila Town was a very special neighborhood for Filipinos in San Francisco, um, you know, our community grew from, from Manila Town and many artists and many writers and many poets um, developed their, their stories and developed their love for community in Manila Town. And uh, this book was my way of giving back to not only my community, but to the overall community and to inspire kids to uh, write their own stories and to write their own poetry and to use their creativity for uh, for their community. So um, anyway, I just want to thank you for the opportunity of reading this book. Um, if you're interested in uh, getting the book, you can go online. There's a Filipino bookstore in San Francisco called Archipelago Books. Uh, they have it. And there's a, also another store, a bookstore in Berkeley called East Wind, East Wind Books of Berkeley that also carries this book. I also had a, a follow-up book to this called Lacasse and the Makibaka Hotel, with Lacasse being an older boy uh, fighting a, an eviction battle in San Francisco as well. So again, thank you so much. Salamat po.